I just wanted to pull on the thread. He left a cliffhanger there. I don't want to wait till the next season. Why are you seeing, what is your thesis behind this idea that the uh, volatility and equities is probably going to move stepwise higher uh, in 2023? Yeah. So when people think vol uh, in the equity land, uh, your average person, they think, first thing they think of is the VIX, right? Uh, most investors, again, we kind of talked about this bias. Uh, think of things in terms of up or down. You either buy things or you sell them. Very simple. Two dimensions, right? Uh, the reality is uh, the VIX is a complicated calculation of a, of a distribution of 30-day vol. All the different options in the S&P 500 uh, average out to 30 days, right? And so options represent different <clears throat> points of the distribution, uh, and they all have different vols. There's a skew to markets. There's like, so, so why do I mention all this? Uh, well, uh, if you're buying a put at this point, you're basically buying it almost on a flat skew. So the vol you're buying that downside put is almost the same vol, slightly higher depending on where you're talking about to the at the money. That is, uh, again, historically low. So potential energy at this point, you know, we like buying things low, right, um, uh, is, is incredibly significant there. And imagine a situation, the range, let's say, is one multiplier and oversimplifying to one and a half on, on a one standard deviation put, right? Imagine it's at one and you're at the money vol is 30. And so your vol is 30. Normally it would be on a 45 vol. A huge difference if all of a sudden that skew just reverts to you know the higher end of that range, just the skew. Never mind the vol itself, right? We've been uh, we've been sliding, uh, you know, flat and and vol has been coming down to the downside and going up to the upside. Now imagine all of a sudden actually that slide, that path, actually uh, goes up uh, under a, a scenario where people are not as well hedged. So the potential energy just from an implied vol perspective is dramatic. So that's one. Two, the higher we go here, uh, given the macro risks that are out there. Uh, the more realized potential energy we have for a decline back to uh, the low. Now, imagine, uh, you know, we, we rally back to 4,200 in the S&P here, which I think is very possible, maybe higher uh, in the next couple months. Um, and, uh, and then you go into a Jan Feb scenario where, who knows, China invades, uh, you know, Taiwan or, you know, inflation starts uh, ticking higher. The 10-year uh, accelerates despite, you know, the Fed, uh, you know, pivoting, uh, the tenure now goes to five. Like what? Now let's say the market drops from forty-two to three thousand. Right? That's a twelve hundred uh, point drop, uh, which is almost thirty percent. Um, so the the realized potential, the further we get rally, it gets higher. The skew is flat. The vol's flat, and people are not as well hedged, which uh, can lead to a um, you know a, a everybody trying to run out the door at the same time. So. That's the thesis, we'll see.